Hi, my name is Joe. In this video, we're going to talk about how we can connect this IP camera to a router or PC computer without using the network video recorder. So we are not going to use this network video recorder today. Let me remove it. Is it going to work? Sure. You see the IP camera working standalone. It's just like the computer or the mobile phone we are using. It has IP address. So we can connect this IP camera to a network. And there's two methods to work with the camera. This is the Wi-Fi camera, but it also support wire. So we can either use the Wi-Fi connecti connectivity or the wire connection. My device is always use the Wi-Fi wire connection if wind the cable from router to camera is possible. Why? You see, when we use the Wi-Fi to connect the camera, we need to have the strong Wi-Fi coverage and the stable connectivity. Otherwise, we will not have smooth video from the camera. We also need to concern the Wi-Fi interfering. You see, not only the camera, but also other Wi-Fi devices may interfere with each other. They're using the same frequency. And the Wi-Fi, moreover, we also need to have the power source. Even we don't need to wire the cable from the camera to the router, but we still need to wire power, power adapter from the AC outlet to the camera. This is not a wire-free camera. Why I say the wire is why Ethernet cable is my first choice. The reason is we can use the power over Ethernet. The power over Ethernet allows us to send both power and data through the router to the camera. So eventually we don't need to have this power source at all. We can remove the power data. So now we, let me remove it. So how to make this system work? First, let me get this cable. And this is the camera support PoE. If your camera doesn't support PoE, you may need a PoE spitter. OK, let me just connect to the camera. And for the camera end, I need to include this PoE injector. This PoE injector will add the power through this k 5 k 6 Ethernet cable. And eventually, this camera will have the power. OK, let me connect to the PoE port. And from here, I still need a small, short punch code to link the LAN port to the router. That would be. So let me just move to the edge and try to access the camera. First, let me click the app button. And from here, we go to the nearby camera. And this nearby camera, click here, the apps will discover the camera with the same router. OK, the camera is being found. Just click the camera. Let's wait for a while before we can see the live video on the mobile phone. OK, click the camera. Now we can see the image from the camera. But there's still one thing, how we can save the video from the camera. After all, we want to save the footage, so if anything bad happens, we can play back to check the video. We can use the micro SD card. I think the micro SD card is one of the most cost effective solutions. There's already micro SD card built into this camera, so we can just play back through this mobile phone. If your camera doesn't have micro SD card built in, you also can check whether the, micro, the camera has micro SD card slot or not. In this case, for this camera, we can install the micro SD card by myself. Simply just insert the micro SD card and push the button. That will be it. OK. Now we have the camera and recording. How about just connecting to the camera to a PC computer? Let's say I don't have this mo I don't have this router, or I just don't want to connect the camera to any network. Can you just get it working? Yes. Now the PoE jet is still supplying the power to the camera, so the ca the camera is still working as long as it gets the power. But we don't have network, so there's no way we can access the camera remotely. And in this case, we need to use the PC computer, and this is the network port from this Mac. So what I need to do is just connect the, the Ethernet cable to this network port on the Mac instead of the router. Of course, I also need to install the software on the Mac. First, let me record the screen so we can see later. Before we can connect the PC computer to the camera directory, we need to set the IP address for this PC computer. Otherwise, it will not work. Let's just go to the network setting. From here, I need to select the manually 
setting the IP address of this PC computer and they need to stay in the same subnet from here I've got the IP address and subnet master and router if they don't have the similar configuration they cannot talk to each other okay now let's just move to the v VMS software and click the search this search will send a message to the camera and waiting the cameras to respond we got two IP address the reason is because this camera has two network card one is for IP the other Wi-Fi the other is for wire now let, let me just add one of the IP address to the camera okay we can see the live video all right that's all for today's video if you have any question please leave a comment section below see you next time